In this video, I'm going to go over three cheapy menstrual cups that I received over the last few months. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Today is Thanksgiving, so I'm going to try to keep this as quick as I can, uh, introducing each of these cups. I'm going to do a quick spin around of each of the box and show you what I got inside of it, and then show you the menstrual cup. I'll give you a little bit of detail about the menstrual cup, but I'm not going to go deep into detail or do any kind of a walkthrough. If you find something helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Here is the first cup that I got. Uh, this is the Leeson cup. I have seen this uh, company offer some other cups in different brand names. And I did purchase mine on Amazon. I got it at a discounted rate. Um, I know that Amazon just did another purge recently and they uh, took down all of the items that were purchased at a discounted rate or given away for free in exchange for your um, review and mine was one of those. This cup comes in a small and a large, and I don't know how many colors they have, but they didn't have very many. Uh, I ended up picking a purple, although I don't really care for the color purple. Here is the purple pouch that uh, matches the cup, and uh, most of my China cheapies come in the same uh, plastic bag marked with the size indicator on it. And also, uh, here is their pamphlet. Uh, I'm not going to open it up. I'm not going to open up any of these pamphlets. They're pretty standard, and this one doesn't even have a brand name on it. So here is my Leeson cup. It's very, very similar to the Lunette cup. The only thing uh, that's really different on this, or there's three things that are different, is that this one is a lot softer. Uh, they did change the stem on this one. It's a fat uh, tab style stem whereas the lunette has a stick style stem and the inside of this cup is marked with measurement lines and numbers and a size indicator. For a cheapy cup this cup is pretty sturdy. Uh, the silicone feels a little bit uh, better quality than some of the other cheapy cups that I have. This next cup is a two set actually. Uh, it oh, They only offer it in a, a small size or a large size and you get two smalls or two larges. You can't uh, swap them out for a small and a large. So here is the box and I don't know if this is the company name or the, the cup name but it is Dig Gold. And uh, here is their logo, and I actually received a uh, PM from somebody on Facebook that sent me the same logo, but her uh, menstrual cup was a little bit different. I think the stems were different, and uh, her cup wasn't named, or this name wasn't on her box. Inside of this box, I got a blue satin pouch. It's exactly the same as the Leeson pouch, just different colors. Here is the plastics that the two cups were wrapped in, and here is their pamphlet. Here are the two cups. Uh, I didn't get to pick the colors. It came in a pink and a blue, and you might have seen uh, pictures of these. I posted them on Instagram and uh, I don't know, Facebook, but my daughter and I were playing with them because the stem on this one uh, looks like a penis. It's supposed to be a heart, but even if you point it the way that you would view a heart, it still does look like a penis. So we kind of just made little origami uh, turtles with these. Um, this cup is uh, very similar to like the Diva Cup and the Eva Cup, but they're very, very squishy. I don't think that I would be able to um, insert these really easily. I would have to do some uh, real adjustments trying to get them open, uh, probably push them to my vaginal wall against my bladder and um, try to let them open like that. Uh, probably also not insert this cup all the way in. Uh, I'm very, I, I, I'm very curious to know what these are made out of. I really don't know if these are made out of medical grade silicone. 
they feel very different than my other silicone cups. Even my soft silicone uh, menstrual cups don't feel this way. Uh, they're nice and clear though. I do like a clear cup, but again, I think this might be food grade silicone. Um, and even food grade silicone has a low and a high uh, grade. So, you know, it's really questionable and I don't feel comfortable using these. I haven't tried them yet and I probably won't. I know that uh, some lower food grade silicones actually add fillers into their mix and formaldehyde is one of those fillers and I just don't feel safe putting formaldehyde into my vagina. Uh, if it has it or not, I don't know and I just kind of don't want to take that chance. The last cup that I have to share with you is by SkinCo. I have seen this company offer other models of cups. I kind of think that it might be the same company as iCare and Aneer. Um, and so I didn't expect much from this company. I'll go ahead and do a quick turnaround of the box. I did purchase this on Amazon. And... Uh, I have other boxes that are very, very similar to this. So, you know, I know that you can buy a lot of these cups on Alibaba and AliExpress, and you can purchase them in different uh, kits. You can just buy the cup, or you can buy the cup with a box. Uh, you can name it. Uh, you can get uh, the pouches and the pamphlets all at different costs and all in different lots. Here's the pouch that I received with this set. It's exactly the same as the other two, just in pink. The cups came in this plastic bag and they actually uh, branded their pamphlet. This was actually another set. Uh, so I got two cups and again, I didn't get to uh, get one small and one large. It only came in uh, two smalls or two large and I didn't get to pick the colors either. Uh, so this one is a pink and a purple. For right now, this cup is a unique design. I haven't seen any other cups like this on the market. I did see it on Alibaba. Uh, I actually tried to buy it on Alibaba, but they wanted an ungodly amount of money for shipping. This one feels uh, very sturdy for a cheap cup. It has a good substance behind it. It's a uh, middle or medium firm, I would say, kind of comparable to the Diva cup. So the design on this one, you can see it's kind of a bell shape and it's kind of a V shape. It has that flared rim like the bell shape. It has that little bit of a bump for a body and then it comes to a V down at the stem. I really like the stem on this cup. It has these teeny tiny um, uh, grip rings and it's hollow and it does have a really good grip when I try to stretch it. I'm really torn about this cup. I like the design. I like the stem. The firmness seems really good and I, I think it might work for a lot of people. It's just that I can't have any kind of peace of mind suggesting a cup that I know it is uh, one of those cheapy cups um, and I know that you can buy it for pennies on Alibaba. So those were the three cups that I wanted to introduce to you. Um, I, again, don't like to advertise a uh, knockoff uh, China cheapies uh, or rebrand kind of cups. I do purchase these cups because a lot of you come to me saying I have this cup, it was cheap, I needed, a, you know, I wanted to try a cup. Um, and so I buy them so that I can compare them to some reputable cups and be able to suggest a cup that might work for you um, compared to that cup if you liked it or not. I'm not going to knock anybody or talk down to anybody that uses one of these types of cups. But I do want you to know that there are some risks. And I'm going to leave some links in the description below if you want to know more information about uh, the safety and ethics of these cups.
I'd like to thank Obsidian for allowing me to share these links and for putting so much time and effort into gathering all this information for us. In the end, it's ultimately your decision and your body. So you can make your own choice in whether you want to use one of these types of cups or not. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, if I missed something or if you had additional questions about any of these cups, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And also, if you purchased one of these cups, please let me know what you think of them. I hope you have a wonderful day with your friends and family, and I'd like to take this uh, time to thank all of you for tuning into my channel, watching my videos, leaving me comments, finding me and friending me on Facebook, either on Krabby Patties or on Red Herring and any of my other social media. I truly am blessed to have all of you in my life, and I hope to continue to bring some uh, videos that are helpful to you. Until I see you next time, take care.